So in this video, I'm going to go over how we put together the uh, Yamaha Reface DX Patch Wash Strings 3. Uh, what's really cool about this is that this is a very nice emulation of the thick analog pulse width modulated type string sound a la the classic Oberheim and Jupiter 8 type thing where you have the LFO modulation of pulse width thickening up the string sound that gives you that really nice washy fat sound that you just can't get with plain old sawtooth waves. So what I've done here is I've turned off the effects so we can deal with the straight building blocks of the sound and see how it's all put together. So we started here with uh, algorithm 8 because that gives us our two two operator stacks to emulate our two analog oscillators. Ops 1 and 2 are the first oscillator. Ops 3 and 4 make up the second oscillator. And you can see we put together the basic sawtooth type uh, harmonic structure of every harmonic by having all the uh, ratios being 1 and 1 and 1 and 1. And you see the first stack we detuned a little bit relative to the second stack. Um, I'm going to turn off our second stack here so we can see what it sounds like just listening to ops 1 and 2 on our oscillator 1. So that's not very interesting, but that's actually by design, because we're going to create some of the complex harmonic motion in the overall sound by having one stack of operators have a static sawtooth type wave, and the other stack of operators having a pitch modulated uh, sawtooth wave. And so therefore, the constant detuning that's going to go on is going to create the thickness that you can't get in regular FM. So I'm going to turn off that stack, go here to 3 and 4. And you can hear the obvious LFO vibrato on that. So what's going to happen when you put these all together, again, is the constant change in the amount of detuning okay, is going to create a whole bunch of harmonic phase shifting in motion that you're not going to get out of just like a standard FM type patch. All right, so to show you the difference and what it's going to do when we turn it off is let's turn off all of our pitch modulation depth. So now we just have two detuned oscillators, no vibrato. Great, very basic synth sound, but not that thick character that we want with the pulse width modulation. So let's turn our pitch mod depth back on, and now let's turn it on for all four operators, so like a classic DX type situation where all your operators have to have the LFO pitch modulation depth, you're now going to hear the vibrato. Which again makes it sound a little bit fuller, but you still don't have that complex harmonic interaction that pulse width modulation gets because both the oscillator stacks are being modulated. So again, we're going to turn these back off. So now we've got the static on ops 1 and 2, the LFO vibrato on 3 and 4, and you're going to be able to hear the big difference on how that thickens up the sound. strings three. So we're going to turn our reverb back on with just a little taste. And even though the original patch does have some chorus, you can see it's just a very little bit of depth and a very slight rate. We don't have to use any effects tricks to get the thickness in this sound like we used to do in the old DX days. So here we have it, wash strings three. <laughs>